Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today we're gonna be trying to see if we can firmware update the um, SAS HBA that is in the IBM X3550 model 4. Um, last week I did a video where I had all kind of issues and uh, one of the good suggestions was that I should try and firmware upgrade that uh, HBA card in there and yeah I should so um, we're gonna try and see if we can do that today um, I don't know if it is fully firmware upgraded I, I was online and I figured out that the, the latest firmware was from about 2014 so there's a good chance that it is already on the latest and the greatest because 2014 has come and gone so uh, yeah let's see the first thing I'm gonna try as I have installed uh, server 2019 on this server IBM and LSI this is originally an LSI card this is the LSI 9200-8E uh, and the E stands for that this is an this is a HBA with an external port actually two external ports this is a 6 gigabits per second SAS controller and um, I believe it's compatible with the PCI Express version 2. So it's an older card, but it's still okay. -ish. PCI Express version 2 is limited to about 4 gigabits per second. So that's going to be the limit of the transfer rate. It's probably never going to reach that. It's going to be maintaining some spinning disks and they're not that fast. So yeah, um, but to do that, um, I want to install MegaRaid which is an LSI product and IBM slash Lenovo has also used it because they have been using LSI cards. So we need to get MegaRate. I have cheated. I have already installed it, but I want to show you how to get it and install it. So you take Google and, um, and this is kind of a fresh machine. So I just type IBM Mega and it comes up with IBM MegaRate Storage Manager and that's the one we want so if we search for that uh, I see that there is a version 17 here I have already downloaded it uh, I actually installed an older version on the system that we're going to be missing with but well here is the the version that we can get and we need to get the big file that's about 75 megabytes so you download that and uh, I should already have it here if we go to download it's right there and it's an executable and it's and it is an executable file that you just install on your server so that driver that i just downloaded um, i usually upload that to my nas server and then from the server i download it uh, to the server from the nas so i don't download anything directly to the server normally uh, and that's that is the way to do it each of the stuff that I have I usually have a folder here with crap for it um, this is another card that I have uh, in another server and um, I just made this folder and uploaded some stuff to it hopefully we're gonna find the the, the firmware in there I, I thought that I saw that was it in yeah there are, some firmware in here that I'm hoping that we can put on it it's from 2016 so that's um, the firmware that we're gonna be putting on there but right now we are just installing uh, MegaRate and I have a folder here from MegaRate and uh, the one that I install on the server is, is this one it turned out to be a version 16 something and the new one that I just downloaded is down here is number 17 I'm not gonna bother upgrading to this version except if it doesn't work so um, if you run that and it installs on the computer server and um, you're all good to go it has some special features you you can kind of install it on one server and and manage other servers with it so um, I haven't messed with that but there is that option so um, let's see how that looks it's um, it, it makes its own little shortcut out on the on the desktop here so uh, let's run that double click and this is one of the companies that has owned LSI at the moment I think it's um, Brocade that is uh, that is the owner and making the cards and it finds the server 
um, the local server here and to get in you, you click here and it wants the, the administrator password user and password for the machine here and the password there and um, log in and here you think for a second that oh nothing is working but it's actually still running right there so it will pop up there we are and here we get some information I have two rate uh, actually I have one rate card in here and then I have this HBA in here and it sees both cards so this one has more options because it actually has some drives to it but we can shift forth and back so we can we can connect to the SAS 9200-8E and we can see that there's a little upgrade firmware here and we're gonna be trying that might want to check stuff physical how it physically sees it so let's see we have a card here we have the serial number we have it's a PCI Express it has 512 megabytes is there anything more interesting there are some numbers over here there is the firmware version and it says that it's a 9.95.0200 so it would be interesting to see if that gets upgraded um, logical it's if we have created some drives on it I don't think there is nothing on here it's just the same data again so it's the other one has some logical drives on there and um, this one does not so let's go back to the dashboard and let's make sure that this is select and we'll try and update the firmware and see if we can make that happen I need to copy the firmware over I want it to be locally on the server before I start this because it's not a great idea to firmware upgrade from a network location it is ever so slightly more safe to have it locally we're gonna go in here we're gonna go in there no nope, that's not the way we're gonna go in here I'm gonna go into the firmware and this should uh, HPA 9200 8E IT mode so we're gonna borrow that file put it down here to the temporary directory copy I would also have put a maker rate on there and uh, installed that locally I uh, actually made the mistake of actually installing that from the network I um, I messed that up sorry about that but now we have the firmware locally so let's go back to mega raid and try and see if if it will do that for us we see control of firmware current version 9 point blah 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 let's try and select there's a little browse tab there select computer c drive temporary directory that file open it's that warning this will flash the controller firmware current version is 9 point blah 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 are you sure confirm yes that's gonna be interesting see if we mess everything up see if we get some new firmware on it that would be nice new firmware version was successfully okay we need to um we need to reboot the system for this to take effect okay we'll do that okay it would be nice of it to show me what firmware it has put on here but let's just do what it says and uh, and restart the server here there update and shutdown okay there is also some windows updates for it yeah sure there is we're gonna do that it's gonna take forever i'm gonna go eat or something seconds later windows are back up and running that's a bloody lie it took forever and ever and then it had of course shut off the machine so i was wondering why it hadn't started up and i had to turn it on again and yeah that was all kind of funny stuff so, oh we have a new ip number okay we're in let's change and see the firmware 
yeah this is way newer so we went from a no version 9 to a version 20 so uh, yeah that should be uh, a lot better probably a lot better okay so uh, we successfully updated the firmware nice so in the last video I had trouble with these drives uh, one of the discs actually this one down here there's two disc boxes here each of them has room for 24 drives and the bottom one down here uh, that is full of SAS drives 600 gigabyte SAS drives the top one is full of one terabyte uh, SATA drives but with a SATA to SAS converter board on it um, so we need to uh, probably try the bottom one first and see if we can get that up and running so I'm gonna go around the back and turn that on and see how the cart now handles that so down here it's checking out drives there we are it's, um, I only turn on the bottom box so you can kind of see that there's two so it's checking out those 24 drives and uh, Okay, it says that there's 23 drives, so there must be one of them that is missing. So let's see. It, it sees a lot of drives here, so that is cool. There's a couple of drives there are that is unconfigured good. Zero bytes, that is weird. And zero bytes. How does that work? So here in Disk Manager, uh, we have an error or something weird with disk number 3 and disk number 5 and also disk number 13 and then there is disk number 24. It's in here but the other systems does not see it which is really weird. So if we go, if we minimize this and check um, disk part we can also see here number three is weird, it says that the size is zero, and five zero, and thirteen is zero, and oh, number twenty-four is also here now. That's weird. In here, there's no twenty-four. We might need to refresh. Let's check that again. It does not see number twenty-four. Weird as heck. Okay, it's the next day and this thing is just messing with me. I have taken some of the drives out, but well, it's, it's weird as heck. Some of them shows up uh, as if they have no space on them whatsoever. But if you put them in another slot, well, yeah, they have space on them again. And these are SAS drives and yeah, I don't know what's going on. It's a little bit difficult when all of them are the same size. So I actually also took a drive that was different to put that in and check that out. So here I have all the drives that shows up in uh, uh, Disk Manager in Windows or Server 2019. And it's kind of weird because if we go down, uh, we can see there's something wrong with disk uh, number 6. But I can't use that drive 6 to anything because that does not correspond with what number it has down in the array because here I put in a 12 terabyte 21 here and uh, 21 is there and that's drive number one two three four um, so yeah that's definitely messing with me uh, trying to figure that out but if we go to to mega raid here uh, that one is actually drive number three because it has a drive number zero which is right now the bad one which is drive number six in windows so yeah that is definitely messing with me um windows calling it one number and mega ray calling it a num another number this is probably the right number ring but well it messed with me that windows call it something else but yeah that's where we're at um we got the firmware updated on the HPA to a way newer version didn't didn't do anything apparently good for us but we got it upgraded now I'm pretty sure that it's either it's the the disk shelf or the drives or the cable that is messing with me but uh, yeah I need to figure that out so um, we did get something done in this video so please give it a little like even though um, it was just a tiny little thing upgrading the firmware 
and um, yeah an easy way to do that actually and um, should I promote my little shop a little bit link in the description go check out if I have anything that you need it's March there's money on your account again <laughs> well maybe <laughs> thank you very much for watching my videos do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again and have a really nice day bye bye